hello guys <laughs> well good to be back again um this should be a quick one if not too lengthy um, i want to i just stumbled into a um, background and i found them um, this dutch bank vulnerability disclosure <laughs> it's pretty much um a recent one um and we're going to take it and probably start a workflow from scratch um i'll be using my um workflow which i think i shared the other day let me see if i can find my x mind and bring it up great boom there you have it so we'll start with checking acquisition using crunchbase then we'll check asn using bgp.he.net so let's go fire up crunchbase the target is dutch bank i'm gonna copy this and um, i'm gonna just go Crunch base. Okay, so let's go search for Dutch Bank and see uh, what forms of acquisition they have in this database. I'm going to paste Crunch um, Dutch Bank over there, which is what we want to search today. So um, we'll just paste this here and search for it so we can see over here we've got Dutch Bank which is uh, in Germany and that's our target we can see quite a number of cool stuff on the organization um, we see they've got Dutch Bank Portugal they've got Dutch Bank now according to the scope um, they say anything Dutch Bank assets <laughs> any Dutch Bank assets that's pretty wide so there'll be a lot to find um, I love scopes that are this open so if we go back here we can already see the um, Deutsche Bank, Frankfurt, which seems to be the, I think, the global. And then we we'll see in each of these different countries as well, like Portugal, Singapore, Netherlands, and um, some other good stuff. So let's just uh, open up bgp.he.net. Let's see if we can find ASN. Uh, bgp.he.net. Okay, so going back to uh, uh, I'm going to click on this one. Let me see what is um underneath it. Um, so I'm going to have to search for um that target here, Dutch Bank. Let me see if I can find probably the ASN. Um, it's validated in my browser. Going back here, we can start seeing some cool stuff. Um, okay, number of employees, probably investment bank and um, the official, I think, I'm going to copy this, okay, then um, looking around still, um, I'm, I, may, I may not go to level zip because I would want, I won't show that here obviously, it's a bug bounty program, <laughs> so I would love for you to go try this out on your own. Um, it's good to look around, look around the financials, the investments, the people, the technology. Very, very important to look up the technology because you want to understand what is happening from there behind. We can do the searches in BuildWeet, uh, which also is in my browser. Already I've got a couple of browser extension, um, which I can probably just navigate to. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. So there seem to be pretty much lots of AS in here. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm sure there will be a ton load of IP address in each of these ASN. I'm just going to click one of them. Uh, look at the subnets that probably fall under these ASN. We can do this using a mass or a mass, whatever you want to call it. Uh, prefix version 4. Okay, there we go. We're looking at subnets now, right? Okay, we can collect all these and start probing since they told us that anything. I'm sure they are prefix 6 as well. We can look at the waste database, find some cool information. I'm just showing probably what you want to look up for. Okay, um, I'm going to ignore this. Let me paste that and do a search. Then fall back here. We can start looking at the forms of traffic um, within countries. We see India, Italy, Germany. Another cool stuff happening, interesting signal um, as captured by Bombard. Okay. Pretty cool stuff. Look at the, look up the technologies. You want to really look up the technologies so you can understand what's behind. I'm going back to my walkthrough. I can use AMAS to extract um, IPs from the ASN. So if I go back to here, um, 
the financial investment call. I think um, I'm just going to grab one of these ASL. Uh, okay, this is Frankfurt. This is obviously. Uh, oh no. Okay, great. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Uh, DB Incorporation. So let's see. Uh, we can see the prefix here. Excellent. But I can also do this using um, AMS. So I can copy this ASN number. I'm going to go back and um, look for that ASN. Uh, there seem to be two of them here. Um, okay. You want to be sure um, what you're collecting is actually for Dutch Bank. This seems to be DB Corporation. So you want to be sure it's what you want to collect, you're collecting, so you don't end up getting yourself into troubles. <laughs> Very important. Okay. So it's good to play around this. Look within and find out what you can see. Um, then, uh oh, did I lose my internet? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm not sure what happened right there. All uh, right, so uh, we'll just grab one of them. Then let me see if I have AMS on my. Um, okay, I have AMS here, so I'm going to work with this. Uh, this is my VPS uh, in Digital Motion. So I'm going to use AMS Intel, the ASN, and pass the ASN number. Let's go build that command quickly. Then I'm going to copy one of those ASN number. Uh, I just want to show you stuff. Okay, I'm going to go back, copy this one. Then come in here and paste that over here. So I can run this. AMS is going to pretty much do the same thing that I can see happening under here with the IPv4. So if AMS starts populating, it's going to start grabbing cool stuff underneath um, these subnets. Okay, it's good to look around each of them just to understand uh, the forms of technology behind, um, which is very critical actually. It's the first step to, to start in understanding. Okay. So upon visiting the, visiting the official page, we can use tools like Webalizer. Pretty cool to, to look at technology. We can see WebTrack, we can see Java, we can see there's a Twitch player somewhere. There's JavaScript libraries called JS. Yes, um, the version, you want to go look up for this version if it's vulnerable to something. Uh, there's HammerJS, also the version. Pretty cool to Webalizer. We can see Babel, we can see also it's Apache happening in there. We're not sure what version of uh, specific Apache is happening in there, but um, we already understand at the basic level it's Apache, so that should guide us when we're doing some more advanced scans. Then user centric, uh, like cookie compliance management happening there. Okay, I'm not sure I can see more uh, info because I don't have API hooked up yet. Uh, I can also do the same using Build With. Build With should give me some pretty cool stuff as well in terms of uh, relationship, which is what I always want to look up for when I'm using Build With. I want to see what this is related to, where it's pointing towards. So I can already see there's GTM, something happening here. I want to go look up each of these IDs that are related to my target here. Then I can see redirect as well. So it gives me an idea, okay? Then the metadata, not sometimes not pretty interesting. Then you can also look at details where you find what you've seen prior in Webalizer and more. There's WebTrack, there's a, a few more of these WebEx panel, there's mobile ESP, the Twitter, um, the language supported, then the Java EE, Enterprise Edition, there's Adobe Enterprise Cloud, well, cool, Adobe, okay, good. <laughs> there's Facebook doing verification. And um, recently, I think this is Bob Bounce, you probably they hooked, hooked up or so. Um, this Dreamwave and some more of this cool stuff you want to go look into. Anyways, that would be your stuff to go play around and find um, what you want to do with that. But at the basic level, I'm just showing you some stuff of what I would do normally. So moving on from this, I think at this variable minimum level, we can fall back to um, um, recon.ng, let's do some passive crawling. Then after that, I'm going to grab my results from recon, then I'm going to pass it into an automated tool, maybe two if I have some time. I'll be using uh, Osmedius, which I had shown passively before, um, to 
do some cool stuff. I can just start social media. So I think I got it running on the server. Let me verify. Um, I lost this. So I have to go to my VPS and um, just launch a new console. Uh, let me see if I can fire up Osmedius and start Osmedius. Sometimes it takes time. There's another tool which I'm going to show. It's a script. It's pretty much faster in doing its stuff. So Osmedius server should start it. I'm just going to background this thing. Then I'm going to go back to my browser. Okay, now I'm losing, <laughs> I'm losing traction because there's a whole bunch of tabs going on here. So let's go back to my browser and let's uh, go to the browser. I'm just going to refresh this page so I can hit it on that server. Okay, then um, what I'm going to do now is to uh, create a new scan. So let me wait for this to just load. Um, I see it's taking its time to load. Um, let's go see our... Uh, oh, okay. I must have found a few of this stuff, but I think I'm going to start recon. So I had to go background, so I had to go put in foreground. So let's start a new scan. I'm um, usually we'll go for general because it's quite um, intensive a bit. Uh, you can check uh, um, the executes um, just so you can understand. Mm, I'm not sure what is happening here. Okay, great. Uh, just so you can understand. Uh, let's see the workflow list. Uh, general scan is actually going to do all this stuff. Also, Vaughn Scan Inclusive. Um, if you'd love to learn how to probably set up this Osmator stuff, I, I, I think I'll leave a link to the GitHub repo. Pretty cool work by Jesse. So um, let's go over New Scan, click on that general. I'm going to paste that domain there and uh, I can fall back to my workspace and watch as this starts to build. Uh, results for me. So this will be running passively. Uh, Osmedius is doing some wonderful, wonderful stuff over there. 40 reports at the moment. It's already picking up some vulnerabilities and some of them actually had validated one or two of them. Uh, still in the process of actually complete validation. They seem to have a CV and there seem to be some exploits out there in the wild. Okay. <laughs> and also on the active scan end, uh, it's found a couple of these um, API thing happening there. Then as well as Nuclear is um, giving us some wonderful SSL expired certificate over there, although it's low, but we could probably look for a way around that to exploit it. Run my recon script. So if I run my script, so you see it's asking me if I want to do a single target, if I want to do a full target with subdomains. So I'm going to, okay. Um, falling back to the script, the script is doing some massive craziness over there it's done a whole bunch of this i cannot continue this video it's gonna take hours so i'm as it started and um, over here i already started scanning a map um for the ips so um the workflow will be if my nmap scan finishes uh which i see it's still running um, i will import that into my um, hive so i've shown you guys my hive uh before so I've got the Hive server also in my um, VPS. I will just create a new for, um, project for that and bring that in and start doing some good analysis. So Amos is doing some madness. Um, Osmedus is doing some craziness. And Elmap is doing some randomness. So I'm going to have to pause this video or stop this video here probably. Uh, maybe I'll pause it. Then um, if, I, if I'm able to find my Amap result done, I will come back to you guys. Yeah. Okay, so Elmap is done. Um, we can see our results is saved there as a um, nmaps kind of XML. So I'm going to stage a Python M, sorry, HTTP server 1990. My bad, my brain is forcing crazy like now. <laughs> so I'm going to go over here. I'll just take the IP address so I can use wget to grab my nmap results. So I'm going to copy this. I think I didn't check the name of the file. What was it called? Okay, so I'm going to go to my terminal. Um, where's my terminal? And in my folder. Okay, great. Uh, this is bug. Okay, great. Dodge back. So I'm going to do wget. Um, maybe HTTP to the IP address on port 1990. Then I want the file. Um, I'm just going to copy this. My brain is already doing some forcing over here. 
and uh, I'm going to pull this down so I can load it into my hive. So you see I got the results over there, I can cut the content of Nmap just to show you guys. It's a bunch of random XML stuff. So over to my hive server, let's go make some sense out of that stuff. So I'm going to go to my project hive, create a new folder, uh, project to call this uh, Dutch Bank. Who loves the bank? Okay, you can actually set the start and stop dates, but at this level, I'll just leave it this way because I'll have to redo this whole stuff. I'm just showing you guys stuff anyways. So let's save the project. Then it's going to um, force us to import. So let's go import the file. I'll go look for that file. Oh, right there. Pretty smooth. Just pointed me to the file. So let's import this. It might take a while. Let's hope it doesn't. Okay, um, then let's just go check okay this is nuclear doing some wonders but here it's done now we can see the importance of having a hive uh, clearly you can see the ips and the open ports and then leave comments or like all this ones the apache stuff i can look at them in details leave some comments and do some other analysis so um i may have to stop this recording here if you like the content please go check my youtube channel we do stops like this and um uh, after this, I think maybe sometime during the week I'll be working on uh, a Windows batch script. Uh, let me see if I can go to the scripts. I'm actually weaponizing it at the moment. Um, you can run this on the fly on uh, memory and you can actually grab yourself a reverse shot. I'll show you guys this stuff sometime during the week or maybe next week if I'm a chance to do that. So um, thanks for your time. Um, closing up, uh, Osmedios, I'm sure it's doing some wonders. So once I leave you guys, I'll fall back and start doing my analysis, see if I can grab me some bugs and then grab me some bounty as well. <laughs> Thanks guys and um, see you in the next recording. Yeah, bye.